Travel expenses paid for in part by MSI. New from MSI, the Infinite A Gaming Desktop, featuring all standard components, ATX motherboard, twin Frozer 2 graphics card, and a tempered glass side panel. You can now pick up an MSI pre-built ATX Gaming Desktop, built from standard components. Learn more at the link in the description. Travel expenses also paid in part by Fractal Design. Just launched from Fractal, the new Celsius with extreme and quiet all-in-one water cooling. For true enthusiasts, the satisfaction of a clean and efficient build can never be overstated, and the Celsius makes this easier than ever with integrated fan hub and concealed cable routing. All modern CPUs are supported. Hello, my name is Wendell, and I'm a tea addict. <laughs> well, I don't know if it's quite that bad, but I do really enjoy tea. I really like uh, black tea, uh, oolong tea. Uh, I've been known to drink a pu'er tea occasionally. There's there's lots of different kinds of tea. I, I've never really encountered a tea that I really strongly dislike. And so this is one of the reasons I really like Taiwan because it is super easy to get a really high quality tea that is insanely fresh. There are tea shops all over the place and all these vats and urns and things, you know, this huge pile of tea, these are all different types of tea that are available depending on what it is you're looking for. So I was super excited when uh, MSI said, well, hey, how would you guys like to go to a uh, tea plantation? It's like, ooh, tea plantation, that sounds really good. Growing tea is a little bit more difficult than most people realize because the ideal tea is grown at a specific elevation, typically a high elevation, but you really want a high heat and a high humidity um, to, to do the to do the tea, but it's not not too hot and not too humid because you can you can spoil the tea So Taiwan is basically perfect for that. So we show up at the tea plantation Basically, they put us to work. Yeah, don your straw hat and your little you know your little tea bobbin thing and Go to work picking the tea now The thing that makes a good tea is not just the tea plant But also insect activity because insects will bite I guess some type of aphid or something will bite the tea leaves and that will alter the taste of the tea and sort of alter the chemistry of the tea. And so you look for, for those kinds of things as you're, as you're, you're picking the leaves. Now picking the, the tea leaves is a manual process. And so, you know, a large tea plantation like this will have a bunch of people go through and pick. And it, it's sort of on the hillside too. So it's not like, you know, you can have really flat areas to get machinery in to, to deal with the leaves. You just sort of have a person that's, that's doing it and putting their little thing in there. So it's, it is back breaking laborious work but hey you know tea sells for quite a premium so that, that's pretty good one of my favorite things to do in taiwan is to go into the mountains there's actually a cable car system that'll take you about five or seven miles into the mountains and you can get tea up there as well this tea plantation is in a little different place it's about an hour south of the city so it's not actually you know sort of exactly the same place it's not actually the, the same same kind of thing but uh nevertheless I've really enjoyed going into the mountains and getting getting tea at, at, at sort of a tea house. And this year was, was of course, no exception. And of course, I'll have Kung Pao chicken and maybe a mango smoothie to go with the uh, the Kung Pao chicken to sort of take the edge off a little bit. But also, of course, oolong tea. And this is such, such good tea. Taiwan really knows how to do tea well. So once we pick the, the tea leaves on the plantation, the next step is to sort of prepare the tea. And the way that you do this manually is you just sort of, you know, rake the tea leaves over this thatched board thing. And what this is supposed to do is rub the tea leaves on uh, other tea leaves to break down the leaf material, so that which is not very tasty, and let the stuff inside the leaves out while um, hopefully not actually adding too much of the leaf material to your tea because it'll make it bitter and you don't really, like if you steep a tea too long then it's gonna pull out some of those kind of things. It's the same kind of things um, as that. And so you just sort of, you know, roll your tea around and that helps the, the leaves kind of wither, but it's withering in a very specific way. I don't know, it's kind of artisanal. They have a machine that does this, but they made us do it manually because it's super labor intensive and hey, I don't know. So my tea is either going to taste like sweat and feet because it's about a million degrees or maybe it's going to be vaguely some sort of oolong tea. Now pu'er tea is a little different. You actually would have to roast the pu'er tea twice and they've got this, you know, washing machine cylindrical looking thing for roasting it a second time. So the first time with tea, you air dry it on these sorts of racks in this machine. With pu'er tea, there's actually two roasting processes one on a machine like this and one in sort of the tumble dryer thing for, for roasting. And so this is what I ended up with for my tea. Now I've, I've made a pot of tea here and <laughs> it's not bad. It's actually not bad at all. I've actually, you know, I've sort of 
steeped it for a couple of minutes and you can kind of see in there. Well, no, you can't because it's kind of dark, but it actually, it turned out better than I expected. It's not as good as the packaged oolong tea, I'll tell you that right now, but it's not actually that bad. I think, um, I can taste the oolong tea, but I can also taste the, uh, the sweat and tears of somebody who has no idea what they're doing making tea in there as well. And it's not drowning out the oolong taste, but it's definitely not helping the oolong taste either. So that was fun. I had, I had fun making tea. So hopefully you enjoyed coming along with me as, as I made tea. And so big thanks to MSI for, for helping make that happen. And, and it was really cool meeting the other Dragon Squad members. We all sort of had to wear our tea plantation hats. That was fun. I got some good photography and that sort of thing. So let me know what you thought. I know it's not really technology tea. It's technology. It is technology of tea. It's a technology video for tea. So we're not off topic on the level one YouTube channel. We're totally not off topic. I swear it's, it's fine. It's fine. All right. I'm Wendell. I'm signing out and I'll see you in the forums, which is where you can, you know, tell me that yes, in fact, we are off topic, but it's cool. It's fine. See you later.